right, this is the weekly horoscope for Pisces for the week of November 20th, 2023. Hello, my fishies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has. I really appreciate the love energy and you know and thank you for sharing me and stuff like that so help me grow make sure to like this video and thank you for everyone who has so my fishies um happy thanksgiving this is a time for pleasant conversations others may voice their affections for you or compliment you it is a good time to approach others for favors your views and ideas are more popular now careful with what you say yes to you may end up with the short end of the stick you can be putting your foot in mouth syndrome at this time so you may want to cock those brains before you shoot that mouth off this week you can feel like others are taking advantage of you way too much and you're taking back your power at this time and you're saying that naughty word, that dirty word. No. Okay? And you're saying it a lot more than usual as well because you're getting sick and tired of the same people using you. Okay? For some of you here, this could be you saying no to the kitty table on Thanksgiving and things like that. Or you're not trying to babysit other people's kids because everybody got days off at school and everything like that. Um, you're really saying no to other people in certain situations. Like you do not want to be involved and you do not want to be invested in their drama. You are about your sanity. You are taking back your power this week. Saturn is forming a water trine all this week with the first, fifth, and ninth house. And all the planets in your fifth house are in retrograde at this time. So you may not be getting along with those in authority, or you could be butting heads with other co workers at this time, or you could be very sensitive with like what other people say to you or what other co workers say to you. The focus can also be on your children at this time. They could be dealing with learning disabilities or having a difficult time at school, or they could be going through it emotionally at this time or god forbid sick okay you can be the voice of common sense with other people you could be talking down um, people from fighting and being the peacemaker you could be more about bigger picture and bringing families together at this time um, making people pick and choose their battles so you have words of wisdom to share you can be more about um, being a mediator again peacemaker with this energy then on the 21st Juno Queen Kunsing Chiron in the second and seventh house the focus on healing so you need to work on the other person's healing Healing too so the other person in your life can move on all right so don't give people false hope at this time with this energy you want to move on too with this energy so allow them to go through their emotional process with you you need to work on being completely open and honest about your feelings now you need to be very honest with this person you know and let them know that there is nothing between you two anymore and stuff like that you need to give this person their closure um, you need to make that confrontation you need to be more open and honest with others so that they can heal too and move on as well and instead of giving them false hope or leading them on and making them think that there's something there when there's not okay um so yeah and then let me see try to be more open and honest yep yep um blah, blah, blah. all right and don't sugarcoat things with other people as well all right or let people see or let people see what they want to see at this time mercury is forming a kite energy with the 10th 12th and 8th house with the part of fortune you may be presented with an opportunity to take the fast track in regards to your career multiple possibilities for advancement present themselves doors open up and obstacles to success are removed this is a good time to make important career decisions as you are more likely to have a relevant facts you may take on more responsibilities at work you may have to receive good news with your superiors possibly in the form of promotion with this energy for some of you this could be public speaking as well you could do well in that then on the 22nd at 902 a.m. the Sun enters Sagittarius in your 10th house superiors are likely to take notice and it's quite possible that you could receive a promotion obstacles to career advancements are swept away making progress a lot easier your leadership is more popular now your focus turns more to career matters achievements and ways to get ahead there is a possibility of a promotion and the opportunity to take on a leadership role an increase in responsibility can happen increase in popularity can happen and an increase in your status are likely through career especially in the work field that is glamorous such as social media media modeling superiors are likely to have more interest 
in what you have to offer. For some of you, you could be reevaluating your relationships because certain people in your life can be acting crude or have a nasty sense of humor. You need to cock those brains and shoot that mouth off because you can just say things that are crude and rude in mixed company. Um, the earth moves into the sign of Gemini this week, forming a T-square with the 1st, 4th, and 10th house. You can be um, butting heads with neighbors at this time or live in relationships you may not be getting along with. Or you could be fighting um, with the landlord or dealing with property matters and important estate issues as well. For some of you, this could be traveling. For others of you, this could be relocation happening. Um, you may have to. You may have feelings that you don't belong. With this energy, there is an increased um, responsibility at work and lots of overtime. For some of you, I feel this can be a time period where you could be at a stalemate with the social media where it like plateaued out and you can be not really seeing like the growth that you want to see at this time with this energy here. So you can be feeling some kind of way about that. On the 23rd, your parents may be worried about you for some reason and try to contact you. Often a time of worrying about personal issues. Watch for a tendency to get too wound up and nervous. Learn to slow down and listen. Don't be too concerned with expressing yourself now. You may have to relocate for a new job opportunity. Your domestic situation feels exciting, but not especially settled or peaceful. Not the easiest time for love relationships. There could be some self-realizations. Romance can prove unsettling. Or this could be, again, like a lot of like self-realizations. Relationships could be codependent and lack proper boundaries or an invasion of space. Um, you could find that you could be really upset with yourself at this time when it comes to the choices that you made in your life. You could be reevaluating your decisions that you made in your life as well. And this could be like self-realizations coming up. Neptune is in retrograde, giving you clarity. So be careful with your emotional self. Because you're very analytical in your way of thinking. You could be beating up on yourself at this time, okay? You may have to put yourself in an awkward situation with others, and you can feel awkward around certain people in your life on the 23rd. You may have, um, you may be concerned about what other people think. I feel like it's going to be a situation here where you had like a nasty falling out with somebody in your life, right? And maybe you told this person off or something like that, or you got this person in trouble, or something happened between you two, or maybe this person like confronted their feelings for you, or and you know, and you rejected them and stuff like that, and now you have to work with them. Okay, so you could be feeling awkward about certain situations because you don't know how they're gonna react. Or for some of you, you got a divorce. And like your ex forced their family to invite you over for Thanksgiving and you don't know how everybody's going to take you, okay? For some of you, you're fearful of being judged at this time. You know this situation here and you're imagining the doom and gloom, the riots before it even happens, okay? So how do you know it's going to happen? Then on the 24th at 5.15 a.m., Mars enters Sagittarius. You have a stellum in your 10th house. It's an ambitious time for you, a desire for power and authority. It is possible to get ahead okay you run the risk of making enemies and starting insurrections you may advance in career if your career involves arts or the music it may be an important decisions are coming up this is not going to be the easiest time for you with mars and sagittarius forming a stellum with career because you're going to find a lot of opposition for career growth those of you who are 50 and older you may feel the need to retire as well for some of you you could be reevaluating your career direction or your business because you're not seeing anything happen so this could be a frustrating time for you or this could be you being bullied with this energy because of mars and you don't get along with dominating people at this time so you could be reevaluating your career direction or you could be just going through it emotionally with the other kids. It's a great time for those of you who are athletes. Um, expect to do really well. Mars is not well aspected in Sagittarius, so you can be more about your freedom at this time. You can be feeling restless for change. You can be reevaluating. Like if you're not seeing growth, you're not going to be 
you're not going to be too thrilled to work, okay? And you're not going to be too happy to work, okay? Um, for others of you, you can feel like other people are taking advantage of you at this time. And you can get pretty nasty about it with this energy because you're not too scared right now to say what's on your mind. For others of you, you can be ghosted with this energy. Be careful of throwing tantrums and tiaras at this time because it's going to be a situation here where you're going to throw your tantrum and tiara and you're going to get told off because of the things that you obligated yourself to. And you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini and they're gonna put you, or a Sagittarius, and they're gonna put you in your place and they're gonna let you know what time it is. And they're gonna say to you, you know, you're the one that put yourself in this situation. You're the one that said yes to this situation. Now deal with it. You know, it's gonna be like that kind of situation. So you need to be careful at this time when you're getting mad, you can't blame the other people because you're the one that said yes, you know? So you're gonna have to learn that you know to control and temper your your emotional self at this time with this energy and kind of just like namaste it down during this time period okay so don't be so quick to jump at people because you put yourself in a situation okay so it's that kind of thing and on top of that you not leaving or doing anything about the situation but you want to bitch and complain about the situation so that's what's happening there because you're gonna find you know i'm mama and i'm telling you and mama telling you what's gonna happen because the little ass whooping that you're going to get for trying to run your mouth on these dominating people. And then they're going to tell you what time it is. And you're going to be like, oh, oh, you know. So I get it. It's frustrating. You know, I'm going through it too. But at the same time, you know, don't be, you know, you put yourself in this situation. So you can't play victim. South node in the eighth house. Okay. Expect the unexpected with this energy. The Ten of Coins, there could be some more money coming in for you this week with this energy. Okay, we like that. The Three of Wands, this is a time of growth. This is a time of moving forward and not going back. You can be going into a new chapter in your life this week with this energy. So beautiful energy time. The Queen of Cups, the flow this week. Delve into your spirituality with this energy. The Five of Wands, you can be learning something new with this energy or up with the latest and greatest in technology this week as well the nine of cups my yes card to whatever question i did not answer is yes with this energy okay and i feel like you know you could be manifesting something in your life as well so be careful thoughts become things your perspective and outlook on life is going to begin to change you can be getting more clarity or you could be in a better mood this week as well as things begin to fall into place for some of you this could be dealing with legal documents with this energy um during this time period because we still have a stellum in the ninth house so for some of you this could be dealing with immigration your visa with this energy passports um and i feel like as i connect i'm hearing science okay so this could be trying to get like i don't know certain um like document this could be getting like your medical documents and stuff like that transferred over somewhere else with this energy or this could be dealing with like your college stuff or your transcripts okay so things of that nature could be happening for you the knight of coins the mind on the money and the money on the mind for some of you this is a great time for those of you who have creative jobs with this energy here or you could be starting a creative job for others of you you could be creating a hobby and turning it into a money-making idea with this energy so mazel the seven of cups lots of thoughts of future 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 at this time so you're excited about what it is that you're starting with this energy here as well this week so beautiful energy time for that and coming up with money-making ideas future 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 i feel like you are over certain relationships in your life at this time and you really don't want to deal with certain people okay so you could also be avoiding certain people in your life because you don't want them to start obligating you to things or dictating things to you or emotionally dumping on you this week with this energy the um two of wands i feel there's recognition and success coming to you for your work the six of coins you could be very giving with this energy so be careful with that be careful with 
you say yes to, you know, Pisces is the last zodiac sign. And in Kabbalah, they believe that, you know, Pisces have no lessons with their giving energy. And you can tell when you have no lessons with your giving energy because your money don't go away. Okay, the Six of Swords, yeah, I feel like you can be diplomatic, you can be trying to get along for the sake of getting along with everybody at this time, you're not trying to rock the boat. I do see a successful career change happening or job transfer happening for some of you here with this energy, so that can go well with this energy or college transfer could go well for you as well. The um, Three of Swords, I feel for some of you that this could be an emotionally confusing time for you with this energy because of decisions that you have to make and things you are trying to avoid. For some of you, you could be driving yourself crazy. For some of you, you could be more in a leadership position at work. You can find freedom at work as well with this energy. You can be delving more into the law of attraction with this energy and kind of detaching from all the negativity that is happening around you. I feel you are creating your reality and you're moving away from toxic situations situations at this time so yeah you're creating your own reality the nine of coins talks of travel um coming up for you so this could be traveling for the holidays for others of you this could be a move happening um for you this week with this energy as well the three of cups i feel again this is like an emotionally confusing time for you you could be dealing with family, lots of communications going on for you this week as well. The Two of Swords, I think that you can be showing loyalty to other people at this time or other people want you to be loyal to them, okay? So I would be careful with that. That's a tricky thing to go into with other people, what you can do for me. Okay, um, so you need to be careful here. For others of you who have been obsessing about somebody in your life, I feel like you're just going to leave it to fate with this energy. But I feel like for some of you, you could be moving closer to that person that you have a crush on or they could be moving closer to you. So I would not be surprised. The world card talks of traveling again. Alrighty, good news coming in for you. I feel you have a lot of influence over other people. Great time for job interviews with this energy as well. The Knight of Cups, blessings onto the universe with this energy. For some of you, you could be dating um, during this time period as well. The um, Six of Wands, I feel this is a time, definitely a time of communications for you. And you being very diplomatic, you could even be like really cocking those brains and... Um, like being very careful or even I'm hearing very strategic with your words at this time and how you use your words towards other people, okay? Maybe you want to make yourself very loud and clear. Maybe you want to remain neutral when it comes to certain situations going on in your life. You know, you're not trying to fight with other people at this time. The temperance card, I feel with this energy here that you can be more about your sanity at this time as well. You could also be um, taking care of yourself, delving into self-help with this energy um, this week. And again, emphasis on traveling. For some of you, you could be moving on from a relationship, leaving a relationship. Um, for some of you, this could be a graduation happening with this energy. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're just, you're going through a transition. You're going through a phase in your life, not like a, like a new phase in your life or a new chapter in your life at this time is what I'm picking up, okay? The Eight of Wands, I see traveling. For some of you, this could be trying to manifest a car in your life. This could be good news with this energy, or you could be driving more than usual um, this week and running errands everywhere or driving people around everywhere with this energy as well. So there could be lots of wear and tear on your car. If you don't like that, I don't like that, okay? The four of, of coins, for some of you, you can be more about your financial security. This could also be money worries. Um, for others of you, yeah, I feel like you could be worried about money is what I'm picking up, okay? I feel for some of you here, you could be working on trying to save your money at this time so you're not interested in spending it or you could be a lot more frugal with it with this energy as well um and like working on saving your money so you're not you could be not wanting to go out this week and do the black friday shopping or anything like that so you could be more than likely a little bit of a homebody or staying home this week with this energy okay the four of wands i feel like you're more about your stability 
at this time. You're more about your creature comforts with this energy here. Um, for a lot of you, the weather could inhibit you from going out at this time because it could be too cold for you. So you could be like, I'm not going out. All right. So you can be a little bit in hermit mode at this time with this energy. Of course, you have a Stellum in Sagittarius and Sagittarius do not like to go out. So it's going to be a situation here unless people didn't make an appointment with you two weeks or a month ago. You're not going. So you can be a very much more of a homebody. You're not someone that's going to be adventuring out with this energy. So this week can be like working home, working home, working home, and trying to find ways to save your money at this time with this energy. Just try not to go into lack consciousness this week as well because that can get you in trouble um during this time okay so as above so below so keep the energy positive all righty and the emperor card you have a great level of self-control i feel like somebody is really crossing your boundaries like a train they just keep like like going through your boundaries like every time you say no and stuff like that with this energy they're like not even acknowledging like what the hell you're saying so you may have to think about like stopping communications with this person for some of you you may have to think about getting a restraining order on this person as well because i feel like no matter how many times you tell this person no they're either they're really stupid or they really think less of you as a person and they do not care about you, they're going to continue crossing your boundaries and not listening to you. So certain people in your life, it could be very frustrating with, but I do see like happiness um, around you. Okay. Um, just stay away from dominating people at this time with this energy here. Be careful of what you obligate yourself to with other people in your life and start learning to kind of stand up for yourself with this energy. Put your balls on and start saying no to certain people. Don't allow other people to take advantage of you, okay? I feel for some of you here, I do see you being married in the future, okay? So you will marry again. I do see a man arriving in your life. This could be an older man um, arriving in your life, okay? A new love um, relationship. I do see that this person is willing to step up, be father to your children, or this person is willing to step up and wants to create with you and procreate with you and have beginnings with you okay so i do see a future happening here this person could possibly also have children all right so just be aware of that i see this coming towards you and if you're in the lgbtq community this person may want a committed relationship okay and this person is uh, not single right now. They could be married going through a divorce and they're like straight and then they have kids. Okay, so it could be like that. Alrighty. Um, for some of you, I feel like this is a great time to save your money with this energy. I do see a third party in, in here. All right. Um, I do see you becoming prosperous with this energy here. For those of you who have family in different countries, I do see you sending money to them and financially supporting your family with this energy as well. All righty. All righty. What a read. <laughs> I love you, my fishies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie. And make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Kisses.